BetUS, America's favorite sportsbook and casino. Live betting and racebook. We're celebrating 30 years with a historic offer. A 125% sign-up bonus on your first three deposits. Plus 10% gambler's insurance. Get started today. BetUS, where the game begins. Hey, what's going on? It's your... This dude here. It's your boy, Fitz. We're back. Hey. Miami Dolphins round table. TD's trying to mess with me in the background. Let's see. Oh. TD, let's go. Roll it in. Let's go. Roll the show. Let's get it. Look at Doug. Doug. You're going to kill me. You're going to kill me. I was actually looking at my phone too. Dude. So I'm looking at my phone and I'm like, oh shit, I'm live. Oh, shit. oh man, my bad, bro. I was just back, I was I was backstage trying to learn how to read film. Um, oh, yeah. <laughs> hey, there you go. You better get in that lab. Oh, you, you looking at the run game? Oh, uh, uh, according to you, you know, we we gonna be able to stop the run without Christian Wilkins. What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the Miami Dolphins Roundtable, joined by the usual suspects, the OGs. We got Douglas Duro. Our man CB83. Let's go. Let's go. Y'all already know the guy who can't read film, TD, TD fans. TD fans yeah. talk. I'm Let's go, to, TD. Let's go. TD Crank up, TD. Talk. You should change Let's, it. Film stuff. TD film stuff. Mm, you know, maybe I should put that on Twitter and start a war, you know. There you, go. Mm. You, know you know, you know what? Maybe you, we're going to start the show with the call of peace. A call of peace. what is what is this about, TD? Tell me what this, this is, is a, about. It's about a Miami Dolphins roundtable. So right now we're kind of representing the Miami Dolphins community. You know, Doug. You know, Doug. You know, um, I, I, you never see Doug in any issues. You know, well, never mind. Um, <laughs> <laughs> anymore, it's one. It's one. Hey, I was, I was scared. I, I, we, had, we had a situation. He had a little situation. <laughs> situation shit. No, I gotta stop starting with. Peace. People. That's what it is. He be coming for people. No. Listen, CB83, I hear your name out in these streets and all these wars. Always. And I just sit back and I don't even know what be happening. <laughs> man, my name being stuff, I ain't even in the, I don't want to say, but you know, it is what it is, man. We're calling for a National Day of Peace on, you know, April the 2nd. Mm. Every year we're going to have a Dolphins Day of Peace. No, you know what, man, let's make an official day. Let's make um, April 3rd every year Dolphins official day of peace. I'm going to spread that on Twitter and I'm going to tell people all night tonight. Tomorrow is, and I'm going to tag y'all, so make sure y'all share it. Tomorrow okay. is Dolphins official day of peace. Okay, Is this is this the day, TD, where the two are nears and the Wolfpack come together in unity? Is that what happens? It, it, whatever differences, everybody mm. comes together wow. and reflects and be nice unless they get to an extension. They're just going, hey, that's just the nuclear bomb into the really? whole, whole, whole scene. <laughs> yeah, what's crazy is imagine you set the day of peace tomorrow and his contract is done tomorrow. That's, oh my God. That would be crazy, bro. Yeah, yeah. That, that would be um slap in the face on peace. Um, <laughs> but let me ask you, let's start there, though. Let's start there because, you know, um, yesterday was April Fool's and people, you know, everything on Twitter and everywhere out here was fake. And everybody saw the fake ESPN to his contract extension. Did yeah. you guys get a chance to see that and read the comments? Uh, No. I was actually shocked. I was shocked at how many people, because, you know, that post blew up because everybody wanted to use it and everything. But I was shocked at how many people were up in arms about the contract, even though it was a fake contract. It was like an annual, I think, like 57 million or something like that. But everybody lost their mind. Like a lot of people got fooled by it and thought it was real. And in the comment section, are they kidding me? How could they do this? Uh, like just going crazy. And I don't understand because... Am I wrong by feeling like it's guaranteed they're going to resign him on a long-term deal this offseason? Pretty much. It, it would be shocking if they don't. You know, the rumors out there from ESPN is that it might go into training camp. But, yeah, I, I don't 
Chris Greer's not a guy who's going to, you know, own up to his mistakes. He did it once by trading no Benogany, and that's about it. So I, I, I see him getting a contract extension. Now it all depends on what is the contract if everyone will be cool with it. And you know, for a fact, when that contract comes out, no one's going to look at the guaranteed money. No one's going to look yeah. at the structure of it. They're going to look at the years and the total, and they're going to lose their minds. So, yeah, I think he will. I think he will. But, but I thought the proposal, five-year, $280 million, you know, I thought it was good. You know, Tua deserves it. Are you trolling or what, what, what is this? Because <clears throat> I've heard you say he doesn't deserve that time. Why do I? Why do I have to troll about the greatest quarterback in the NFL? CB? Oh, okay. Here we go. He's trolling. Um, but yeah, I mean, I think the deal will get done, right? And I think it'll be, you know, market value. Why are we worried about the money that Tua get? All these guys have gotten paid. Hmm. Herbert Herbert has gotten paid. Hertz has gotten paid. Burrow has gotten paid. How many playoff games has Herbert won? How many uh, division titles has he won? Like, well, I always say this to people when, like, when you bring up Her- when you bring up Herbert getting paid and what has he done. You could also argue how that's working out for him. And that's the but that's the nature of the market. That's Daniel Jones' contract. That's all mm-hmm. of their contracts. Like, mm-hmm. it, it, I mean, it'd be different if all these quarterbacks weren't getting fifty million dollars a year. But that's what these guys get paid. Like, let's be real. Mm, so you're good with fifty five plus million a year? I didn't say fifty five. I mean, I cool. I'd be cool with forty five to fifty. I think he gets fifty five. Breaking news right now. He got fifty five. What you say? What, what's your thoughts? Uh, it's a little bit higher than I expected it to be, but it's a deal. And I'm sure they're going to have some protections in there against injuries, against things like that, to protect themselves as well. So I think the Miami Dolphins will be smart about it. But didn't he just prove he'll never get hurt again? That's not what he proved. <laughs> he did prove he could stay healthy for a season, though. He did oh, prove I, he could stay healthy. You said he couldn't do that. You remember you said he couldn't do that? He can't. He, he heard his thumb. He heard his thumb one week. No, he, he didn't. just played. No, he, didn't. he just played no, he through it. No, he didn't. He just played through. He's a man. He's a man. <laughs> <laughs> Tell him, Doug. Tell him, Doug. All right, man. Listen. Um, let me ask you. I, I, I know we always talk about the Dolphins, but I want to kind of switch gears tonight, if you guys don't mind. I want to talk about the landscape of the AFC for a second. Mm. Um, this offseason, what team are you most impressed with with the moves that they made? A uh, Doug. I like the I, it, unsung hero. I kind of like what the Titans did. I kind of like who they went out and got, especially at center, wide receiver. Uh, I'm trying to think of other teams out there. The Jets did some good things. I'll give Jets their flowers, but the Jets are it's it's a coin flip with the Jets. If if all their guys stay healthy, and again, this is the NFL, so oh, no one stays healthy. Um, they could be very dangerous. Um, could be okay. Try, Trying to think what other teams are doing. Yeah, I, I, I unsung here. I like the Titans. I really mm. like it for some reason. I like what the Titans did. I feel like they mm. climbed up the ladder. Yeah, they really did climb up the ladder. So, so let me recap that real quick. You said you know you give the Jets their respect and what they've done. Got to see it though to believe it. Mm-hmm. Um, you like um what the um what what was the other Titans. team? You said? Yeah, also you said name one more team, didn't you? No, but even oh, like okay. you, you, look at the, you look at the Texans, they they mm-hmm. stacked up their team too. So those three, those three, the, they're going to be dangerous. I think the Texans are going to continue to uh, keep the AFC South because they did when they had uh, Deshaun Watson. So I think they're going to get back on that track. But I think the Titans are going to give them you know, a shot for their money. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What about you, CB? Who's impressing you with the moves they made? Uh, really not impressed by the moves. I mean, the Jets made a couple moves, right? <clears throat> Which they do it every year, and they end up still being bad. Um, I think um, Titans made a few moves. I do like what Houston has done. Um, I don't really get impressed by the moves because until you beat Kansas City, like, it don't matter. <laughs> like, it, does it really matter the moves you're mm-hmm. making? Like, you, you still got to beat Kansas City. So it's like, you can make all the moves you want to. I've been impressed, honestly, with what the Dolphins have done. Um, even with losing the guys we've lost, we still managed to fill some holes and get some good players in. I think if anybody's been the most impressive in the AFC, I think it's the Dolphins' move so far. Mm. So um, if the Bengals, if Joe Burrow stays healthy, do they make the playoffs? 
Yeah, I mean, it depends on how hard he sucks in the beginning of the year because that's Joe Burrow's thing. He's like the first four or five true. weeks, he's horrible, and then they have to make up for it, and he plays really good. So, and that division is going to be tough with the Ravens now having Derrick Henry. Steelers getting Russell Wilson, which I think he's going to have a little bit of a resurgence with the Steelers and Mike Tomlin. I think, you know, going to the Broncos and having to be, deal with Sean Payton, I think he's going to do really well with the Steelers. I think that whole division, they might not make the playoffs, even with Joe Burrow fully healthy because of how strong that division is. We mm -hmm. thought it was going to be like that with the AFC East last year, and then two teams just fell flat on their face, so the Dolphins and the Bills got in there, but yeah, I don't know. I don't know. If I they thought did. it was kind of impressive of them going to get those two big name um, free agent tackles on both mm -hmm. sides of the line to really, you know, act, give the proper protection. Because the one thing no one really talks about is them neglecting Burrow quite for quite some time with protection. Mm -hmm. um, and this goes all the way back to even when he made his run. But I think they finally actually invested in that area. And I'm. It just. I just wonder. I know you. They're the one receiver situation they have. Um, is it enough to keep them in playoff contention? That's just something that's been on the back of my mind. Mm, I mean, <clears throat> that division is really tough. I think Cleveland got better, too, this offseason. Mm -hmm. Jerry, Judy, they added some pieces defensively. I think Cleveland's going to be a problem. I think Pittsburgh got a lot better with the quarterback position at, with Russ there. Um, and then Baltimore. I mean, that division is going to be tough. I think Burrow kind of starts taking the backseat to those guys. I think he's going to slow down a bit, you know, because he's not going to have the weapons and the defense that he had a couple years ago when he went to the Super Bowl. So he misses the playoffs. I think it's going to be close. I think he's going to be on the verge of getting in. I think it's going to be one game away from getting in <clears throat> or being put out. Mm, interesting. Yeah. Um, another team, you already mentioned the Pittsburgh Steelers. I don't know what it is, whether they got a good roster or not. Tomlin always find his way to get 10 plus he wins does. to get in the playoffs. Do you see that continuing? I, I let me give you my take on this real quick. I think it's even better. It's a perfect scenario for Russell Wilson. They're not trying to rush anything. They're no. trying to play defense, get opportunities on defense to even score if possible. You play field position. They don't mind punting the ball run the ball, a little play action, and I think Russ, even playing at the level he's been playing at, adds some stability to give a little more consistency that, and they got the receiver now, um, That and I feel like that's a guaranteed playoff team almost. Am I wrong for feeling that way? No, I, I agree 100% with what you're saying. But then, but then we talk about the division, the tough division, you know. They're going to start knocking each other out. That's what's going to happen, too. Yeah, that's true, too. I mean, or, it, that's, that's the divisions. It, or is this a three-division playoff teams from three – three playoff teams from one division? <clears throat> Not happening. I don't think that happens. Um, I think two can get in, but I don't think it's a three-game, three-team. It's the same thing, what, two years ago we said about the West? Oh, the AFC West, you know. I know, the Rock Chargers and Raiders mm -hmm. and this. And then they just – They imploded. Just, so who wins that division? I got to go with Baltimore. They're still the best team in that division. Don't be surprised if it's the Steelers. I'm just really liking Russell Wilson's addiction. Don't be surprised Ooh, if it's the Steelers. That's a hot take, Doug. That's a hot take. Don't be take. surprised. Mike Tomlin doesn't lose. Like, he doesn't have a losing record. Baltimore. And now you actually have a competent quarterback back there with normal-sized hands. You know, just so, don't so say normal-sized hands. <laughs> oh, hold on. Well, oh first off, let me, let me recognize the homie King Cat just dropped the hundred on us, man. Dang, King oh, Cat man. Hundred piece. He said, um, hey, fellas, best wishes to you and your families. Barring major injuries, we are um, your opinions. Uh, what are your opinions of the AFC ranking um, come playoff time? One through seven. Go Jets. That's kind of uh, – um, stay tuned, King Cat, because it's kind of what I'm getting to without right. getting there. Right, because – because – and we're doing a process of elimination right now because I'm, I'm asking these questions for a reason. It's very interesting to me that – Based off of both of your sentiments just now, I think you both are in agreement that Baltimore and the Steelers at least get in, regardless mm -hmm. of who wins the division. Mm -hmm. Is that correct? Mm -hmm. I don't know about the Steelers. Now, I think they're a good team. I don't know if they're going to, you know, jump the Browns or – because the Browns are still a good football team. The they're a playoff team too. 
I've like, always this is have been my thing with the Browns ever since I started doing YouTube and like picking other teams is the Browns need to prove it to me. It's kind of like the Jets. And whenever the Browns do really well, they kind of just fall flat on their face the next year. So we'll see about that. And Deshaun yeah. Watson needs to prove that he hasn't fallen Dang, apart. TD, that's your boy, too. What's up with Deshaun Watson, man? He's got to come to play this year. No, he was rusty. Let's see if he can get back to form this year. I think he was starting to um, get back to form. Remember the game? I think it was the game before he was done for. Uh, who did he beat? What was the big quarterback he beat? Um, I don't know. Hmm. Hold on, let me. I mean, he did have some. He did have a couple quality wins. I mean, he's just got to get back to playing good football and staying healthy, man. Yeah, and it's a matter of his health for sure, and, and to get yeah. back into a rhythm. But we'll see. I mean, at the end of the day, he's the one that got to prove himself. I just believe in him. But at the end of the day, if he don't show up when it's all said and done, he failed, and it was a bad trade. Hey, so, I want you. I want you to believe in Tua like you believe in Deshaun Watson. I mean, it ain't hard to believe in the best quarterback <laughs> in the NFL. I mean, All right, I hear you. Two, two is my guy, man. I ride for two no matter what. <laughs> you hear? I love this. Y'all, y'all laugh about it. Y'all need to have a little more confidence in our quarterback, but that's not here. No <laughs> All right, so so y'all got two teams coming out of that division, though, right? I'll say two at least, yeah. yeah. Okay, so, but you got the Browns over the um, the Steelers. I got Browns over the Steelers, yeah. All right, does Buffalo make the playoffs this year? Mm. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I, make think, the I think three come out of the East. Now, I honestly, it, 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 three, look, God. look, look. No, okay, it's yeah. not going to be three. It's not going to be three. No way it's three. Three's coming out of the East. Like <clears throat> it's either going to be us and the Jets or us and the Bills. It's not going to be three. I think three. If, if Aaron Rodgers stays healthy, I think it's three. If if was a fifth, we'd all be drunk. <laughs> okay, so the Titans aren't making the playoffs. No. Okay. The Jags aren't making the playoffs. No. Wow. The Chargers aren't making the playoffs. Nope. Um mm. the you already well, we see the problem is we're stuck on this Brown situation. To um, me, it's Bills, Dolphins, Jets, Ravens, Steelers. Titans, Chiefs. Uh, not Titans. Texans, okay. Chiefs. That's what I think. Right now, again, we haven't even seen the draft, so this yeah. is just right now. I, it's so early to make these predictions. I know we. I know we're having fun with it, but man, yeah, yeah, is, yeah, for sure, it's tough. It's tough. Um, because you don't know what type of injuries will happen during the season. You exactly. just never know. That's why right? I hate doing record predictions. Yeah, 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 for sure. Yeah. Like, when the comes out and everyone does record predictions, I never. Like, who would have thought Cincinnati would end where they were? But they lost mm-hmm. their quarterback, and that's mm-hmm. how it happens. They like, still went 9-8, and eight, though. It wasn't bad. <clears throat> yeah, for sure. I mean, they managed. They still got a good football team. So the Raiders aren't making it. Denver's not making it. The Denver Chargers aren't making it. But see, what's going to happen is one of these teams that we say aren't going to make it are going to end up making it. And one of these teams we think that are going to make it are not going to make it. They're going to have somebody's going to get hurt or they're going to have a bad year. And it just ends up happening every season. I might be giving the Jets too much credit. You, know? you are. You are. Don't worry. <laughs> Don't worry. We know you are. You're just doing that because you're from that area. <laughs> oh, I hate them more than you do because I'm from this area. <laughs> Man, King mm. Cat rolling in the dough today. I see you, my boy. Gee, the weed. Oh, he sent up. another one? Yeah, 100, man. 100 piece lemon. Oh, I see you. Man. Listen, man. King Cat about to help us get out of poverty. At least me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, King Cat said, B more will either barely make the playoffs ooh, bold, or miss the playoffs this year. Mm. Steelers, Bengals, then Ravens, and Browns battle it out for third and fourth in that division. Steelers are being kind of slept on. Here's the issue, though, King Cat. Even though they're battling for third or fourth, the third team still can make the, the playoffs potentially. Yeah. That's that's, that's the part of the issue, and that's where the conundrum comes from. Um, Brown Steelers. So that division is still better than the AFC East. I don't know about that. That's a good division. It's four teams. They got four teams, yeah. I mean, the Patriots, yeah. But all four of them could make it. Patriots ain't making nothing. They can have no. a great draft and they ain't making nothing. Yeah, no. 
Yeah, they're gonna struggle. Um, all right, that's a good division. I'm not mad at that. It's a it's a good division. But I mean, one of them teams not, aren't gonna be as good as we think they football? are. Uh yeah, you could it, say that. It'll have to be the Bengals. And that's that's probably recency biased of us missing them in action last year, just automatically assuming their fall off begins. I don't see a Ravens fall off starting. Like, Damn. they're the same team adding Derrick Henry, and they'll probably go get one more wide receiver weapon. Yeah, they lost some They lost some defeat, defensive pieces, but Patrick Queen and guys like that. But they'll be but able to they'll be able to plug and play. That Roquan bringing him in the year before. That was, yeah. They knew that was going to end up happening. They'll be able to figure it out. That's a good football team. Mm. Yeah, this is going to be real interesting. So here's the here's the deal. So are you saying the Dolphins are a better team than the Browns? Yes. I think what happens with that is that they're in, the Browns are in a tougher division. So they're going to lose games against the Ravens, Steelers, and Bengals. But heads up. <laughs> they're better. We, we, we will la- play them. <clears throat> you only as good as your last game. And the last game we played against the Browns, we spanked them. Yeah, but they didn't have... Had they had a. Now. They still had a good football team, though. They have Jacoby Brissett as their quarterback. Uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, I mean, he didn't. Deshaun Watson didn't play that week, but I mean, what has he shown us? That defense got smoked too. We smoked them. We played but, well that game. We ran the football super well that game. Mm-hmm. We have no clue right now, but head to head, how you feel about that matchup, though? I, I like. I like even. It. Yeah, I like it. I like I our match. As lopsided as some will probably make it out to be, but I, I think I give the slight edge to the Browns right now. Huh? But, yeah, but I don't think it's Miles Garrett alone gives them the slight edge right now. Bro, so, we got players too, Doug. We got studs. Okay, we play the Bengal. We play the Browns week one. First of all, we, we played play against. Hold on, dog. let's you hold know up. Let's is. stop this. <laughs> Let's stop this because we held Miles Garrett down. He did absolutely nothing when we played them. <clears throat> so let's go back and watch the film. We watched oh, the film. Oh, <laughs> oh, hey, on the word on the Mike street. McDaniel. Hey, film, Mike McDaniel was sending the fullbacks and then the tight end at him. Miles Garrett didn't know what to do. He didn't have a day. And they had Jadavian Clowney back then. We shut him down. Let's go, man. So here's my deal we keep talking about they're going to beat each other up in their division. Are we not going to do the same? And not only that, look at the divisions we have to play this year versus the ones they have to play. We have to deal with the Texans on the rise. We got to deal with the Jags. We can disrespect them all we want. They're still a solid team. We got to deal with the Colts. What version? Who is Anthony Richardson? I do know the little small sample size. He actually looked a little like, hey, let's see what you got there, you know? Um, And Will Levis, loaded up Will Levis. We know what happened last time. We know we killed ourselves, but now they're loaded to sustain a little better. And I love what they've done on the defensive side of the ball. I'm shocked they cleaned house, but was able to recoup the way they did. And that Patrick, um, not Patrick, what's his name? Sneed move was, I ain't gonna lie. I'm going to tell you now, we might as well cancel Tyreek on that game. Um, Really? You saying Tyreek ain't doing nothing on Sneed. Okay. At some point, we just got to be honest. Wow. Because you know he going to be, I got him. I don't want to hear nothing. The tape proves it. Coach, that's my assignment for the day. Nah, and he's nah. going to go out there putting his hands on him the whole game. He's going to get a few flags, but he's going to Ty- go out there and Ty- put his hands on the whole game. Tyreek will have a day. That's a home me. game for the Dolphins, too. Don't worry. It's it's not in the snow. It's not Trust a negative me. 30 outside. We'll be fine. Trust me. Stop. Really? Dolphins have a day. Home. Tyreek, have a day. Okay, all right, all right. Tyreek has a day. I'm just saying. Hey, even if Tyreek gets shut down, we still got Waddle on the other side. We still but he'll be here. Yeah, but and Janu. You know, it, it and Janu. It depends on the game, though, Doug. About week three, Waddle will be limping. And we might <laughs> have we might oh, have Tyler. Waddle, we might Waddle. have Tyler Boyd. <laughs> what are we talking about? Yeah, yeah. Real quick sidebar before we finish this <laughs> on thing. So, how y'all feel about Tyler Boyd? Depends on how much. I wouldn't be against it though. Obviously, it's going to be more than Odell, 
he's going to want way more than Odell. But it ain't gonna, happening. Never mind. <laughs> we're we're going to be sitting at about twenty three million come June second. So I wouldn't. No, be you know they try to carry every penny of that they can over the next year. Well, if they restructure uh, Tua, then we're sitting at about thirty five million. So. You can slow. Well, you can, you can I like the, I I like the Tyler like Boyd. Uh, we will. I like the Tyler yeah. Boyd situation. Boyd, over that Boyd probably cost about ten, twelve million. I think they could do it. Yeah, but they need money for for next year, and the biggest reason why is because you're looking at your um, Waddle, Holland, pay them, dudes. Um, Jalen Phillips. Jalen Phillips extension. You're looking at all of those. And here's where Chris Greer might screw up. If he don't pay Holland now, what you think he going to do to Holland next offseason? Holland's gone, man. If he don't pay him you now, don't think he franchise gone. tags him? No, no. I don't, I don't know. think so. At some I point, we need, at some point we need to trade some of these dudes. Tag somebody next year. Mm-hmm. But that's going to eat cap up because there ain't no flux, fluctuation with no um with no tags or you know or options. When let's let's ask the tough question. When will the Miami Dolphins make a trade to get draft compensation and replace a guy in the draft? Oh, that's Tyreek this whole season. That's Tyreek. Like when when will we get ahead of it? I'm tired of being late to the table, late, late to like like some point we gotta move on and just trade guys, get the compensation, and well, let's well, let's go draft a guy. I agree with that, but who's who? Who are trade candidates on this team? That's good. Who are trade candidates? That's the problem. We don't have any. The we do. We, we do. A few years ago, like Xavier Howard. Who? We won't. We won't. We don't want to have this conversation. I've said it before. But Waddle is the trade candidate. Stop. You, Stop. you can go. And, yeah, we don't want to have that conversation. Why don't? Why? I mean, it's a real conversation. I know people don't want to have the conversation, but he is a trade candidate. He's a is he's a really a good real football player. He's. Yeah, I think so. I think it could be if the Miami Dolphins were willing to make the move and get ahead of it, because you can't pay you can't pay two wide receivers like that big money. No. But you're missing something, CB. They're never going to let Tyree get to that 50 or $60 million cap hit year in two years from now. They're never going to allow They'll restructure him or they'll extend him before that. Of no. course. Bro, they've already restructured these guys to a point that an additional restructure is like you might well pick which season you're going to give up on in the future. They've met their maximums in some of these guys' restructures. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But not, not Tyree's. Ty, they could extend Tyreek. They could extend Tyreek and just make him the highest paid again. And, and, you can extend him, but you're yeah. going to be adding voidable years in the extension. And that's mm-hmm. what they do. That's what NFL teams do. So, oh, man, bruh. Bruh. I know y'all don't want to have that conversation, but it's, it's no, business. Hey, business is business. Business is business. I don't want to live off of starting the season every year negative 30 million negative 51 negative 26 negative 80 negative uh, and that's, then you restructure that, <laughs> it, but yeah they do it that's not helping you in the long run no. to get out of that situation at some point you got to sit still now i will say this the good thing about our free agency is the fact that the moves that he did make does soften the numbers in the future mm-hmm where you can absorb some of the restructured dead cap potentially in the future. So because you said Greg cooking. So you said Greg cooking. Because he ain't commit to nobody more than two years. <laughs> and most of them may not even make it to the second year. Ooh, that boy chefing, ain't he? Man, he's chefing. He's chefing. The only thing I didn't like is I don't feel like they're all in moves. Mm. Like the what? Jets out here spending money they know is reckless, but they all in, so they don't care. They literally have one last ride. <laughs> this is like Mamba out type situation. Well, how many right? do we have? How many, Doug? How many we got? How many last? How many rides? I mean, we, we got, got a couple. I think we got a couple it, years. It, it, I think dep- it depends on Tua, man. If Tua comes yeah. out and he and he plays at the level that we need him to, then you have him for years on years on years. Whereas the Jets, you don't have Rodgers for that long. You you might not even have Rodgers for this year. A lot of people are – the Jets last year banked on Rodgers. It bit them in the butt. Oh, they man, fell apart. King They're Cat. doing it again. King Cat is over here just King throwing Cat on money that. at us. Boy, man, King Cat's man, no out of my dance. mom's basement now. King Cat make him dance. You hiring, bro? I got to quit this YouTube stuff. 
I mean, let me know, man. Listen, he said K Kansas City, Steelers, Miami, Texans, Jets, Bengals. That's six teams. Surprise team at seven in order. Bills um, don't make it. Ooh. And blow, blow up their up team, team even wow. more next year. Miami and Texans both have great years, but lost lose first round playoffs sound about right uh jet versus <laughs> steelers in a oh huh? hey he said bet the house on a go he's a jet fan on. too and he got the all dolphins right. winning the division i'll take that i got one issue with all of it <laughs> i got one issue with all of <laughs> so kansas city ain't nowhere ain't to be found in place of the steelers jets versus steelers in the afc championship game King Ka like i know king as a jets fan but man i ain't gonna lie man i i don't like the notion of having everything right on that one guy aaron Rodgers, mm -hmm. because he is gonna make or break them mm -hmm. with no backup plan unless you go get you a first or second round quarterback so do you know uh, that with Mike Williams, right? I thought Mike Williams was good to go, right? I forgot how bad his injury was last nah, he year. He's coming back from an injury. And they said that he should, should or could. I don't know if it was one of the uds. He should or could <laughs> be ready for training camp. Meaning the man might not be ready for training <laughs> camp. Are you but, kidding me? And I'll they're out it. here. So I talked to I got real spicy last time. And but like guys, get spicy again, Doug. Get spicy. Tyron again. Smith has not played a full season since 2015. You don't see Dolphin fans out here pounding their chest that Tyron Armstead came back. We're happy he did, but not we're not like yeah, yeah left tackle. So he retired. Then Morgan <laughs> Moses is coming off with the torn pec that he played all it, and he had surgery on. Like guys, come on! Like your your whole season again, and TD. is riding on Aaron Rodgers on a turf field that is Satan's butthole, and you're really gonna <laughs> spend, like come on. Here, here's why TD. I'm not TD. Go but you did have the nerve to say that they're a better team than us right now. No, I think they are. It, no, he said that. He said you that. Did? He said that. This is under, this is under the assumption that their first round pick is going to be one of them top three wide receivers. Oh, Do you think gosh. they go get Bowers at 10? I think they're better off getting a wide receiver. If they get Bowers at 10, but if they get Bowers, I'm going to tell you now. Yes, that's how I feel. And let me tell you why I don't like Bowers at 10. Because tell me what. Aaron Rodgers, a veteran with the young tight end. Mm -hmm. ball, you know, you, you, like you, a tight end's a lot you get a good quarterback, okay, hit and miss with the tight end, but when you got a veteran and you got an Aaron Rodgers who knows how to get to that third read and fourth read with the tight end, that safety net, or that attack based off of the coverage, I know where to go right away, mm -hmm. you know, that can be an issue. But the Jets have said that the, here's the thing that I I don't like about the Jets. Well, I I like because if I was a fan of theirs, but I don't yeah. like I'm a Dolphin fan. Mm -hmm. At least, even though they've gotten injury prone players, at least they've set their offseason up to go luxury shopping in the draft. Mm -hmm. Not so much BPA imminent need. Way. It's not imminent need. Oh, this whole we got to feel. They, every time I say, but Richie, y'all don't have this. They just traded for a top one. Oh, but y'all need another pass rush. That brought up. Oh, they went and got the guy. Oh, y'all, y'all need y'all need a starting receiver and a number three. They go get Mike Williams. Well, he a number two. Uh, now, if you can go get one to push him to number three, then then I ain't got nothing else to say. Hey, they're gonna they just, go get it in the first round. They just following Greer's lead. That's all they're doing. Greer did the same thing. They just <laughs> he just following Greer's lead. No, Greer did the same exact is, thing. Greer did the same. Hey, the, hey, Greer cooking. Stop playing. The difference between their general manager over there and Chris Greer, they got off of their weak point. <laughs> like that. Oh. They, so so Doug, who is the weak point, Doug? What for us or for the Jets? Because I for can tell us. you the Jets. Who who's the, the weak point for us, Doug? Nobody. Nobody's weak. <laughs> yeah, we, we got rid of our weakness too. You know, the only weakness on this scene was Xavier Howard. So okay. Oh, yeah. really? You said we had yeah. a weak. You said what was the weak point we didn't get off of, TD? That we haven't gotten off of? Yeah, that's what you said. You said there's a weak point we haven't gotten off of. Yeah, Cam Smith. 
I mean, what did you, uh, what did you think? This I is great. Me? This is great. I love it. I love I it. About? We are having some fun tonight. Let's get maybe, it. Uh, well, maybe I should have said Channing Tindall because Cam Smith got <laughs> at least another year of a chance. Okay? I hear you. I hear you. King Cat yeah, dropped right, another right, one. And King Cat sent the application, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. But listen, man. Uh, the same can be said about Tua, Mahomes, etc. Yes, we are banking on a Rod, but so are the rest of the good NFL teams relying on their quarterback. Injuries can happen to anyone. Jets move up and take neighbors at five, or move back for additional picks. Neighbors is the best move, one hundred percent. I mean, he he got a point about the any quarterback it can happen to. I'm gonna be honest. I've had a dream recently, and I own. I'm not gonna share the dream, but it's our worst nightmare. And, and so you can just use your oh, imagination. Here we go. Here we go. Just imagine, you know, um, you know, giving somebody some money, and then all of a sudden, a non-contact. Or something. Yeah. Come on, man. See, this no, is no, no, no. It, I it can't believe that. you will put that out there, uh, bro. The I reason why is that. because I thought about Ty, I thought about um Tannehill. It don't yeah. like it, it was mixing me when he was supposed to come back, and mm-hmm. then all of a sudden, what? Like I like like. Let me tell you, put it's put something ju- about, put, it's something put some about good juju contract. in the air, man. It's something about this contract extension that's terrifying because I feel like there's gonna be some kind of I don't know what it is like an immediate. Disaster right after, like, oh no, oh no, <laughs> like, I just feel I don't know what it is. It's, it's really just just bothering me. It's this little tick that I have, but hey, man, time man, always tick. This is terrible, yeah, man. Hopefully, Ken Smith stay healthy, man. We'll see. <laughs> yeah, we give him his money, he stay healthy, man. So, we'll see. <laughs> but okay, is, uh... so this is what I have so far Chiefs, Baltimore. Steelers, Buffalo, Texans, Jets in Ooh. the playoffs. And the Dolphins not making it. No, wow. I, I left us off because I wanted to see how we feel about the other teams that are on the fringe compared to us. That's why I started with the Browns. Doug said a little better, maybe. You know, you don't see them better at all. Any other team that's even close. I mean, I, I don't think, even have the Bengals on here. You think we're just his, his head and shoulders over the Bengals? You think we're so, just better than the Bengals? So when we played the Bengals last year, I thought we were a better football team. Tua got you mean hurt. When Tua got hurt. Yes, we go down no, we, the first. No. We go down the first drive. Yeah, um, I think we would have won that game if Tua didn't get hurt. Exactly. No. So, so <laughs> we so we go down the first drive. Tua hits Mostert. I think in the end zone for a touchdown. He drops the ball mm-hmm. wide open. Mm-hmm. Right. Um, and then no, I think that did, was Edmonds. I don't think was, that was it Edmonds or was it? I don't Mostert. think it was Mostert. And then the next them. drive, Tua throws a deep ball that they dropped the interception. No, they caught it. They no, caught they caught it. Interception. Oh, it was yeah. the one after that he threw the deep ball and they dropped the interception. I think so. I, I, I know but, one they got it. I was going to do that reverse. But, but Tua remember, had a. But Tua, it was a great first drive though. We marched right down yeah, the field. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah it remind yeah. me. It remind me of the late two thousands and um early twenty uh, teens years where all we could do is score on the first drive and that was it. <laughs> Y'all remember that era though? Right For real. You remember that? Yeah. The fact hmm. that Teddy Bridgewater brought us close enough, I really do think if Tua to get hurt, we would have won that. Oh, game. we would have won that game. Hands yeah, down. but here's the issue that I have with that. Teddy Bridgewater played somewhat li- lights out kind of in that game. He was no, balling out. Oh, Wait, I, 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 didn't he keep us in that game? No. Dude, no. that deep ball to Tyreek that was severely underthrown and then Tyreek oh, like smacked was the ball inter- and caught it to like himself. Two inter- like two was interception? Yeah. Right, see, this is, where, this is where the wolf pack, see, this is where the wolf pack takes come. Uh, this is where they come from. Oh, no, you I can't, say, you can't say Teddy Bridgewater. Up for Teddy. I love so you're Tua. saying, so like you're saying you're Tua saying doesn't give us a better chance to win that game. He did it when Teddy was playing doing the same exact thing. Here's my thing. Tua has taught me I can never use the... um. The, th- the the notion of if Tua was playing, that wouldn't have happened. I can't because we said that two years ago. Well, if Tua was playing at the end of the season, we would have never collapsed like that. Oh, but he got his chance this time. Oh, but he got his chance this time. If Tua was playing in that playoff game, we wouldn't have lost. Oh, but he got his chance this time. And it ain't like we're talking about the defense was the only thing that failed. The offense just straight up, and it was everybody. I mean, it you played the cool. you played the best team in the league in the first round so, of the playoffs in their house, and yeah, yeah. also Baltimore played them in their crib, and they I thought were the better football team, and still lost to them. In Buffalo, so I don't think so. I don't. 
You said what? And Buffalo and Tennessee. And Buff- exactly. So everybody, yeah, it mean. happens. It happens. So Baltimore, yeah. I thought, was a much healthier, much uh-huh. better football team, and they sure. still lost to the Chiefs. But this is why I just can't use the if Tua. If Tua. I can't. Difference was it was you. in September. We all know how Tua plays in September. <laughs> oh, Doug. Don't do bro, it. Why are you hating on my quarterback, bro? No. <laughs> get him, TD. September Tua and December Tua. And he would have won that game in September. Oh, man. <laughs> I asked Dolphin fans a question that's on my show the other day. Which season was better? Last year or the year before for Tua? Last it's, year. A tricky, it's a tricky question. This this last recent year. this recent year because he stayed healthy. That's the best ability is availability. You got to be. He available. had. Don't get me wrong. In 2022, he had some really good he games. Did. He had the Ravens game. He had the Lions game. He had the Browns game. Near Browns. But he also had some really bad games. That felt yeah. like the Green Bay was Chargers a game. game. He had the 49ers he was game. He was concussed. And I don't Might think have been. he had this Look. season. He didn't have any <laughs> games like that. As bad. Now, he had bad games this year. Don't get me wrong. But I don't think he had any games as bad as that Chargers game or that 49ers game. Because um, there was games where he kind of looked off, but he was we were still able to be competitive. Whereas the, the 49ers and that Chargers game, it was like, what is going on with him mentally? We like, didn't. Collapse. Tua didn't have any games this year where he completely, single-handedly lost us the game. That's true. I'll agree Last year, Green Bay, he single-handedly yeah. lost us that football game. Chargers, he single-handedly. I wouldn't say right Chargers, team. he single-handedly. Nah, he, he missed, I wouldn't say San Fran, San Fran, he single-handedly. He missed too many throws, dude. You got to make those throws. They were but, open. Or they you got to run the ball. <clears throat> but if the throw's there, make it. Like, but it, we can I get what play. you're saying, Doug, but you can't go into a game and rush the ball nine times and think, oh, like, if my quarterback's off, I got to figure out a way to make the adjustment. Or... True. Two single handedly lost us every game we lost this year. No, I don't think so. Man, TD, see, why this I, is why. why do Yo, I this is why. Why do I say that? Why do hey, I say that? this is Doug. <laughs> stop, stop the show. Because he single handedly had the ability to win us those games. Oh, here we he go. His hypothetical. He could have won those games if he would have played better. Okay. Not, well, not all of them. Maybe at okay. least two or three. Now, okay, Gandhi. Me. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, give me that. Called him Gandhi. Okay, Gandhi. <laughs> I, I was just saying, CB man, we try, but that's old news, man. We know two is a franchise. We know he the goat, man. We hear you. Hey, it's all good. All right, so again, early prediction: Dolphins record. Mm. Why are you doing this to me? I don't even know. It's early. Crazy. It's early. Nobody's holding these against you. Yeah, they are. They're gonna clip it. Yeah, right. no, just- <laughs> <laughs> they about to clip the mess out of you, bud. Let me see who we play next year. Let me let me hold. On. I, I told you the whole schedule. Uh, we got the Texans, Colts, Jags, Titans. We got the Raiders. We got Green Bay. Um, we have Seattle, San Francisco, Rams. Um. Arizona Cardinals, I think that's yeah. Arizona so we're Cardinals playing the West, the NFC West, and the Green Bay Packers is the last AFC team. South, and then a little sprinkle, and then there. the Raiders, Green Bay, and mm. one more team. Raiders, Green Bay, there's one more team. Browns, Browns. All right, I'm gonna run through this real quick. Man, this is Dubs. I got it. Y'all, y'all see it every year. Oh, <laughs> hey, we went eleven and six this year. I call it that, man. Come on, bro. We winning games. <laughs> I, so far, I, so far, while I'm looking at, man, I got a six and one. So <laughs> he okay. said six and one. Wait, wait, what are you wait, playing wait. What, what six games are those? <clears throat> I think we lose to the Texans. I think we hey. beat the Colts, beat the Rams. I think we beat Buffalo at home. The Patriots and the Jets have yet to beat Tua, so we beat those two. Uh, I think we beat Jacksonville, and that's your six to one. So you're going off of previous teams. We just that's all I can do because it's too early. It's way too early. I think that I think they beat the Titans Mm -hmm. with a new head coach. I think Vrabel was the reason they beat us on Monday night. Arizona, I don't think Arizona is going to be any good. We'll lose to the Niners. We'll sweep the Patriots. I say we split with the Jets. Uh, we have to head to Seattle. I'll call that a loss. We're going to lose in Buffalo. Uh, and then we'll beat the Raiders. And then the Browns and the Packers away, 
It depends on when they play, so I'll give it to them. So I'll say like another 11 win season. Mm. Yeah, I was, about I was right to, there. It was grim for yeah. me. I was right there, 11 and 6. Same same record as last year or one game better. So I think it's 11 and 6 or 12 and 5. But a lot can change. Again, I already see someone saying I'm living in fantasy world. It's too early. We could Man, go. In, you go. We would have said that last year. Doug, we don't worry. Last season, everyone was like, "Oh, final, the Jets are going to be the thing." Four plays in. You know what I'm saying? A lot can happen. The year before, oh, we got to face this team. Look at our strength of schedule. Last year, we were third in the NFL in strength of schedule. We ended the season in the bottom of strength of schedule. A lot of stuff yeah. can change. That's how it always happens. Man. Yep. That's why I don't. Look, I, that's why I don't look at the schedule and be like, "Oh my god, it's your schedule." Nah, bro. It's a lot that can happen. So here's what I got. On the road to Houston, loss. On the road to the Colts, win. On the road to the Rams, loss. Buffalo. I'm going to always put Buffalo as a loss until we beat them. Mm -hmm. That's two losses. We beat them before. Uh, in a flute game, uh, the possession game, I remember three games ago. But right now, <laughs> that's two losses, right? New, um, New England twice swept. Okay. Jets, I hate Jet fans. I don't even know why I'm saying this. On they camera. haven't beaten Tua. I know, but I'm splitting. They make it tough for Tua. I did too. Yeah, I did too. They make it tough for Tua. That's um, fair. That's fair. That's, that's a split. But I got five losses so far. Jags at home. We're going to take it. Tennessee and Hard Rock, another L. I don't know what it is about them. What? I understand, I understand the Brady Hill last fan. I know, No, Tennessee ain't even said you're a Tannehill fan. I understand, I understand the Vrabel factor, but they, they, they got a good team. And they're still not going to lose, you know, every bit of that identity and what that team is in Tennessee. It's something about them in Miami. I, I just don't get it. But a lot of it was Vrabel. I'll give you that. But I still got that L. Um, Arizona, we win. San Francisco, loss. Seattle, on the road, loss. I'm with you, Doug. Um, Browns, on the road. We're going to go get a victory, and everybody's going to feel like we're a good team now because we beat a good team on that game. Green Bay lost. I got I got on the road, by the way. Because oh, I already you got know us losing gonna, all of these games. I already know they're gonna send us the Lambo on the on late in the season. It's gonna be on Christmas on Wednesday. Watch. Oh, Jesus. <coughs> Raiders W. I just counted nine losses. Oh my god. Now, okay, now let's go back to some of the ones that are well, we should win. We beat the Titans. Now I got eight losses, right? Um, what other team? Um, I mean, it's no other team on there. I could be like, well, we should, you know, like just like 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 I picked Tennessee for us to lose. There ain't no other team on there like that that we should definitely win that I pick. Unless I'm gonna say we're going to sweep the Jets. The Rams don't have Darnold anymore. The Rams. Sam, I would not. I would not. Aaron. Oh, Donald. Aaron Darnold. Um. They don't scare me anymore, the Rams. Okay, like, let's give us that one. So we got seven losses. Where did it, where does that put us? Ten and seven? Give or take, yeah. We're would, in the ten same ballpark. Seven, would ten and seven be good enough next year? It's always the wild card situation. Steelers got in at nine and eight. Yeah. So, so it'll be good enough. Ten and seven will be good enough. And that's every, if those things go our way. Every yeah, year yeah. a nine win team gets in for some reason. It's just going to be a heck of a season for us because, you know, even though it's early, like we know, we think a team is solid, but then they end up being trash. We think a team is trash. They end up being good. But if we are to go off of the way these teams performed last year, we play a whole lot more middle of the road teams, middle mm -hmm. of the road to solid. And that's what bothers me because it can create a crapshoot if we maintain that be good teams and be bad teams and lose the good teams. Now we got like this big stack of, the competitive group. We don't have the Giants version this year. We don't have the Panthers version this year too much. Yet. We don't yet, which is true. Which is true. Because but last we year the Giants we went to, the Panthers were gonna be. 
But last year, the Giants went to the playoffs. Like, again, we had a third strength of schedule. So a lot of people went, oh, Dolphins are going to win like five games if they're lucky. And then all of a sudden, oh, Dolphins right. can't beat bad teams when we went into the season with third well, strength of schedule. A large part of a third strength of schedule, though, had to do with our own division, too. Mm. Their, their assumption with um with um the Jets. Well, it was going to be better last year, the year before yeah. his records. Yeah. Oh, well, I don't know. Is that how they use it? Mm -hmm. They just go off of the previous year's uh, win loss Play record. Yeah, playoffs, playoff appearances, win loss well, records, stuff like that. Well, here here's a piece of it: the Chiefs, even though they won a Super Bowl, you see what I'm saying? They didn't mm -hmm. have as good of a regular season. Buffalo won a division, but didn't have a regular season, a good season. We had we were, a lot of good teams that didn't have as good of a season, but they still ended up um, really good. Mm. I mean, well, they still ended up making the playoffs. So technically, it still kind of worked out on the strength of schedule. It's just a lot of our strength, the guys with the strength, like the Eagles, the Cowboys, the Chiefs. Chargers. Um, like, but they still made it. You see mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So it was still a tough schedule, technically. It's just that the Denvers at the time, you know, when we played them, were We're bad. Weak. The right, Patriots right. twice, they were weak. The Chargers, worst defense in the NFL, pretty much. You know, we didn't expect those things to happen. We knew Carolina was going to be what it was, mm -hmm. you know? But the Raiders, we play the Raiders again, right? Yep. Yeah, so we got to play Christian Wilkins. Is it at home or on the road this time? It is home. Christian Raiders Wilkins don't do well over in Hard Rock. They don't do well in Hard Rock, especially Man, if we play at 1 o'clock. They were throwing that, throwing up that one here. You remember that? Man, we about to work them boys. <laughs> Christian Wilkins better not be tugging on Tua, man. <laughs> what, you what you talking about? <laughs> You know what you talking about? My film study. That's all. <laughs> what film right. study? Listen, man. Any any last things um you guys want to um bring up or talk about before we get out of here? Could we coming up on that seven o'clock hour? No, nah, man. Just let's get this draft right. That's all I'm saying. Pick up some picks. Get a third. Let's 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 go. The Dolphins are probably they're trying to set themselves mm -hmm. up to get BPA. So after the draft, they can spend the money and get who they want to like they've contacted mm -hmm. two starting guards and saying mm -hmm. hey just hold on for a second you know they got all these players waiting in position just put together a good team and compete because if not tear it down that's all i'm saying mm -hmm. you said it you said team dog tear it down it. around to his new contract all right <laughs> i got um, no control over that <laughs> Maybe Duck said it. Duck said it's about building a team at this point. And I think, you know, we lost pieces. We brought in pieces. It's about drafting some guys who are going to play, not drafting guys who are going to sit and learn. Mm -hmm. We need to draft guys who are going to contribute right away. Mm -hmm. We don't have time for the red shirt seasons. We need to get some guys in here who I are going to play and contribute to this roster, Start. even if it's in sport, even if it's in spurts on defense or a platoon base, whatever you got to do, get some guys in here who can tri contribute right away and be play be young players that we can put on the field and rely on. Point blank period. Build a team. Yep. How y'all feel about a mock draft next week? Let's, Let's do, do it. it. All right, Should ladies be. and gentlemen, you heard it. Next week, we're going to fire up a mock draft. Let's take a look. We're going to talk through. We're going to argue about what we should do. Bring I my expertise. You, you know, Penix, you know. Um, you know <laughs> for the who? Jets, for the who? Jets. We got our franchise guy. That's why we paying him. You said um, who? A Penix for the Jets. Not, okay. Not a, All right. We don't need a quarterback. <laughs> we good. We good. All right. All right. Love y'all. Thank you, <laughs> Dolphin fans. Tomorrow is officially, what did I say we were call Dolphin, it? Dolphin Peace Unity Day. Day. Dolphin Community Dolphin Day. Dolphin Peace Day. Hey, we Dolphin forgot Peace We forgot Day. one super chat, too. We forgot one super chat. Did we? Yeah, we it forgot was, one. It, it was the first one that I'm lying to these people. I forgot. Yeah, Dee, stop right. lying to these people. Tony, bro, listen, man. You're a Jets, <laughs> you're a Jets fan, bro. Stop. Listen, hey, shout out to King Cat, man. King Cat made it rain, man. Rain, we're gonna call you rain, man. <laughs> yeah, King yeah. Cat. Let's Good go. Dollars. Jeez Louise. Boy, I ain't playing no <laughs> man, I need to be gas tomorrow. <laughs> 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 yeah. 
Man, salute to you, King Cat. We appreciate the love and support for the yeah. Miami Dolphins roundtable, even being a Jets fan, and to the AFC's roundtable and roundtable sports in general, bro. We do appreciate the love and support. We thank you to everybody who's watching right now. We appreciate everybody who tune in on Twitter and YouTube. Man, we're going to try to do this as much and as often as we possibly can, guys. We have a great time coming together, just providing some good content. Um, I appreciate you, CB83, as always. Same thing, Doug, man. Um, and I think um, everybody knows, man, uh, this, this is the crew where we can, you know, Push that peace and unity, all right? <laughs> and we got to teach CB83 how to read film, though, so he ain't getting called out of the community. Oh, Just know, saying. bro. They're but, killing um, me. Psych. <laughs> <laughs> all right, y'all. Tomorrow is um, Dolphins Peace Day. We're going to promote it on social media, so y'all make sure you share on there as well. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Peace. We'll see you soon. See ya. <laughs> Let's go. We out.